We're here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference 2014 in Dubai, the United Arab Emirates, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Bokar Bar, who is CEO of the Samina Telecommunication Council. Mr. Bar, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you, and good morning. Thank you very much for inviting me here. Good morning. I'd like to start off by talking about uh, Samina Telecommunication Council. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, what Samina stands for and, and what you do. Well, Samina Telecommunication Council stands for South Asia, Middle East and North Africa. And it's uh, an organization that represents the telecommunication operators across the 25 countries. And our role is advocacy role for the operators, private sector, with the government. Now that's quite a large area that you're representing there. They've obviously got all their uh, different uh, specific uh, regional concerns. Perhaps you could talk a little bit about uh, what uh, you've been seeing here and what's been happening here at the World Telecommunication Development Conference. Well, the uh, subject for this World Telecommunication Development Con Conference is about uh, broadband for sustainability development. It's a very good and important subject and our role and expectation is what could we expect from this conference. So of course it's a given that broadband will foster development and socio-economic development. From the telecom operator perspective, uh, we, we, we take it as an opportunity but what is not discussed today and during this conference and what we would like to see happening in the future is also the challenges for having broadband. We all know that broadband will be good for uh, our societies. Broadband will support all the new applications, will support smart living, will support e-government, a number of applications that we are talking every day. Uh, broadband is provided by the service providers, by the telecom operators. It's a big challenge. And we would like this debate to be addressed with a lot of maturity because operators are the one to implement broadband and they are facing a number of challenges. Now, in front of these challenges, we need to have to define the role of the government, uh, maturity from the consumers and the civil society. We need to have a collective discussion and uh, uh, define together how we can make it happen. It cannot be seen only as a responsibility of the telecom operators. Now we're here in the second week of the conference. Have the discussions, have the conversations been going the right way? Well, the conversations are going the right way. We are uh, having some meetings with different parties, with regulators, with policy makers. The main point that uh, we are bringing on the table is telecom operators need to be incentivized in order to deploy broadband infrastructure network. Uh, let me elaborate a little bit more on that because if we look at the entire ecosystem, on one side we have government, policy makers and regulators, on the other side we have the internet players, what we so called over the top. We have on the third party we have the consumer and civil society. Now broadband is seen as a human right, basic human right. If it is a human right, it's a government issue and not private sector. If broadband is a commodity, all commodities today, prices are going high, except telecommunication, which has to go down. Broadband is also a luxury, and that's uh, the role of the telecom operators to deploy the broadband. So when we look at it from different angles, what we are saying is government need to incentivize telecom operators. I'm talking about taxation. Uh, not, to, not to have a tax burden and to be incentivized to invest into broadband. Now we have two types of broadband, fixed broadband, mobile broadband. And the world is going toward mobility. So when we talk about fixed broadband, fiber, when we talk about mobile broadband, LTE 4G or 5G tomorrow, it's very expensive. And uh, we need uh, to work together to collaborate to agree that if all of us in our society we want to enjoy the service of broadbands, telecom operators have to be supported by government on one side, consumers have to be reasonable, internet players, they have to participate. It's a problem of all of us, not only telecom operators. Very briefly, if there's an outcome that comes from this conference, what would that be for you? 
uh, a call for collaboration. That would be a very positive signal if, as an outcome of this conference, uh, we decide to uh, face these challenges by having a mature approach, by bringing all the stakeholders around the table, have a dialogue and define clearly where we want to head to. And operators will take the responsibility if they are incentivized by the other stakeholders and our entire society will enjoy broadband. Mr. Bokobar, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much for your invitation. And thank you for watching too. Thank you.